Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this is a tutorial on how to use the app Screencast-O-Matic to make videos for your flipped classroom. So, so far I've shown you how to use QuickTime to make videos for your classroom, and this uh, video is going to focus on using a different app. It's a web-based app. It's called Screencast-O-Matic, um, and you can get to it by just Googling Screencast-O-Matic. The website is Screencast, all one word, dash O, dash matic.com and I will go ahead and uh, post a link to that also. When you get set up, it's going to ask you if you um, would like to go ahead and uh, create an account, do a bunch of other stuff. You're basically just going to register for an account. Don't go pro, that's totally unnecessary. Um, but you're going to go ahead and once you get all set up, it's going to ask you to run the Java applet. Go ahead and do that. Um, you need to get that installed for a bunch of stuff that we use anyway. And then you just click start recording. Once you click start, start recording, it's going to open up um, the Java app and you're going to get something that looks like this, this toolbar. And you can drag this toolbar around. Now I like this toolbar and also this, um, which says that we're going to set the screen area. You can set your screen area to be um, one of the preset areas, or if you don't like that preset area, you can actually drag this. So it works kind of just like we we had on the other thing where um, where you go ahead and you you uh, drag and drop like on QuickTime. Um, I like this one because it's web based, it's free, and it will work from your home computer too. Um, so this is actually how if I need to record a screencast at home and I don't have my Mac with me, how I did it. Um, so I'm just going to open up uh, a web page. Uh, actually, let's open up a notebook file. So let's open up notebook and let's open up the chapter two notes. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this to be big enough to fit over the chapter two notes. Now, you'll notice that in here on this toolbar, it has a couple other options. Uh, one of the options is this microphone option. And if you click here, you can use the built-in microphone, you can use um, the input, or you can turn it off. I'm actually using QuickTime to record this video, so I'm actually going to turn this off because you don't need to hear me talking twice. You can also click here and turn on your camera. Now what I do like about this is there's no black bar at the bottom. So here it is. Now this really confused me. I'm really trying to drag it into the center and it won't let me. It doesn't matter. It's just going to record your camera face and then at the end when you're done you can choose where you want your camera to go. Now the one thing that's kind of weird about Screencast-O-Matic is when it records you have to have a little space left. So I always leave this little corner or this little corner here um, blank in my presentations to go ahead and squeeze my face into. And in this one it happens to be right here and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So I'm basically just going to go ahead and click the button to start recording and it's going to count down. It gives you countdown 3, 2, 1, go and then it just starts recording. So I would talk blah 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 and then I would go ahead and go to the next slide, and then the next slide, and I would keep talking, and then let's say that I'm done. So I'd click done, and it opens up this other screen, and that's my presentation. And you can preview right there. And now you see, see how big my face is and how it overlaps on everything? You can actually just go ahead and make it smaller, and this this is why I love it, because I can make myself really, really small if I need to. So like if I find that I've got very little space, I can make myself very, very small. But that way I can just go ahead and have my talking head in there, because my kids really do like the talking head. I don't know why, but they do. Um, they feel like it, it just allows them to connect more to the topic because they're used to your lecture style. So that way, you just go ahead and you put your talking head in there, and it's it's out of the way and then you record and when you're done you go ahead and you publish and I always publish to a video file so I just publish to a video file I take the defaults and I just click save video and I name it so this would be um, chapter 2 because that's my chapter 2 notes 
and I would save it and it will go ahead and save it. Now, if you are a pro member, you can actually record multiple videos at the same time. If you're a free member, which I highly recommend, um, if you're a free member, then you just have to wait until it finishes encoding that video before you can do another video. It doesn't mean you can't do anything else with your computer. It just means you can't record another video using Screencast-O-Matic. Um, once you're done, you just upload it just like normal um, to whatever service you're using or your Google Drive. Uh, if you have any questions about Screencast-O-Matic, please let me know. Um, as I said, I've been using it for over two years, so I'm pretty comfortable with it.